Okay guys, got the oil draining. Um, I get my tripod out here, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of work with everything. I did work on getting the fender cleaned up on the dirty pig here. As you can see, it looks a little better. Got to clean the tank up and the rest of the bike though, but back fender's looking better. And let me grab um, this here. A couple different style oil filters. I myself prefer um, the k n or even JMP cycles now. Let me turn this light on, see if that'll help any. Uh, no. Light on the camera's not working, that figures. Um, JMP Cycle also sells a uh, kind of an aftermarket k n type filter, and I tell you, I've ran them for years. No complaints whatsoever out of them. And I like this oil filter because it does have the built-in uh, bolt head on it. And if you just take your 17 millimeter, stick that dude on there, unscrew it, piece of cake. Um, if you don't have that style filter, you can use a normal oil filter wrench. You can, you know, finagle it on there and kind of cuss it a little bit. Or I invested in one of these years ago, uh, Billet in USA. I think I got that from JMP Cycles too, but it works real well too. Three eighths extension on there and just slide that dude right over on it and it is pretty much you know made for a motorcycle filter um, i think that's about the only thing it'll fit on um, unscrew that and i'll show you guys one of my favorite things to use it's kind of unconventional is an old frying pan um, i've got an assortment of frying pans so i got that draining i normally just take the old frying pan stick underneath the filter like so get her draining out and i kind of started using a uh, frying pan because i've got a big dog chopper which i'll pull it out here and we'll do some service work on it but it sits so darn low to the ground you can't get a traditional oil uh drain pan underneath of it so a frying pan works pretty darn good um, that's just a one of them things i learned to do years ago but on the big dog, we'll do an oil change on it. I have to take the carver off of it. It's got a uh, 117 SNS and it's got a SNS carb that I think I'm going to have to rebuild again because I think I'm sucking some sand into it or something. Something funky's going on with that. But um, anywho, hang on a second and I'll be right back. 